Who's Claude Shannon? Who's Claude Shannon? Claude Shannon? You're asking me this question? We live in the information age, and Claude Shannon is the father of the information age. In the last couple of years, we've generated more information than the sum of all of human history. The fact that you can contact an Uber, place a phone call, text a friend, and then check your email, all of those things you owe to Claude Shannon and his work. He's at the same level as Newton or Einstein. Why don't people know about him? His impact is bigger than all of the household names. To measure information, you have to look at it without meaning. Content is irrelevant. That upset a lot of people. A coin toss is the simplest form of information. Heads or tails, a one or a zero, a binary choice. A bit. And that was the revolution. Back in the 1910s and 20s, he had what we would probably call now a free-range child rigging up a barbed wire telegraph, learning wigwag signaling, sending Morse code flags. Shannon lays this idea that machines could be made to think. He himself invents devices that mimic a brain. There's the mouse that can navigate a maze, the computer that can play a chess game. My dad tried to fool with everything a little bit and see if it could make it more fun. He knew how to juggle and he taught me how to juggle. He was like an artist. He didn't sound like a scientist, not at all. Who makes a flaming trumpet? A rocket-powered frisbee. When Shannon's paper came out, it was like a bombshell, like Newton coming out with the laws of motion. For a long time, people didn't really understand what this was all about. Engineers thought it was so far removed from anything they could build, they just basically thought it was science fiction. It took decades for people to find those codes that Shannon promised existed. Everything that Shannon predicted back in 1948 came true. Learning things, discovering things. He didn't lose that childlike curiosity and delight. Practical or playful. He was into understanding. What would the world look like if Claude Shannon hadn't done what he did?